Hello and welcome. In this video, we're filing a UK VAT return using the Pan Euro VAT bridging solution. So the first thing you want to do when, when you're inside the account is to download the Box 1 to 9 VAT template by clicking this button here. And now here we are looking at the template itself. As you can see, it's very straightforward. We're simply going to take the Box 1 to 9 values that we have downloaded from our accounting software or from a spreadsheet if that is what we've used to calculate our VAT return. As you can see here, this fictional company X, box one to nine data. I'm going to copy and literally copy and paste the data from, from this calculated sheet onto the template. So I've taken box one to five in it in one block. I'll do the same with box six and seven. And once again, the same thing with boxes eight and nine. And then just save the template to your local drive. And then once we've got that saved to our drive, we are going to return to our account okay so here we are back in the site and we're simply going to upload the template into that box there and then click submit uk vat return to hmrc now this will require that we log into our government gateway account okay and allow um, pan your vat software permission to both view and change our vat information this is going to be necessary in order to actually go ahead and make the filing so the next thing it's going to ask us is to sign into our government gateway. Okay, so on this screen, you're going to enter your user ID and password for the for your government gateway account. And then we're moving forward. And once again, it's asking to confirm that we give the software permission to take these actions on our behalf. So I'm going to go ahead and give it permission. Okay, so here it is asking me to select the filing period for which I want to make a VAT return submission. This is a test account. So you can see I do have two options for filing periods. The likelihood is unless you are late for a period, you will only have the most recent period available for you to choose. Now here uh, we have the box one to nine data as well as the period that we've elected to make the filing for. So just review this data, which will be exactly the same as that you have entered into the template. Once you are happy, you click and select this blue tick box here to say that you confirm that the information is true to the best of your knowledge. And then all that is left to do is click the submit to HMRC button at the bottom. And that is it, guys. We are done. You have filed the VAT return with HMRC. And all that is left to do is to download your PDF receipt. You can see this VAT receipt here. It, it shows us the date of the filing as well as the time. There is a HMRC receipt ID. And then we have, in this case, it is a fictional VAT number. That will be your VAT number. The period, start and end date, the deadline for said period, and then the box one to nine data that you have just filed. Okay, so that is it, guys. I hope you found this video useful. This has been filing a UK VAT return using the Pan Euro VAT bridging solution.